Okay, pause, guys and gals. This is Bandit PT. <laughs> Gonna have to do that again. Okay, pause, guys and gals. This is Gary Joker here with part six of Let's Play Arkham Side City. This is Dazzle Who's of Batman. Last one left off. We just had a, such a fun time. We stopped by the Penguin's house, talked about comic books, and went to Barnes and Nobles. And such a nice guy. Stay where I can see you, Batman. That's because he you loves us. You the fight the old snowman put up. Still, I got what I wanted. That's all that matters. <laughs> Hold still, boy. <laughs> no, no, no! Such a nice man. When you're done in here, feel free to join me in the Iceberg Lounge so I can kick your ass again. Enjoy the Copsicle. What a nice fella. So considerate of our desires and whatnot. I'll be with you in there, sick. But no, actually, we had quite a rough time, because uh, we had to go through the Gladiator Pit and... Looks unstable. I need Ooh. to move slowly. Take my time. Oh, what fun! We get to walk slowly across the ice, just like an Arkham Asylum. We deal with the Gladiator Pit, uh, the... One of the leftovers from Asylum, actually? Like, one of the Titan people. It's actually kind of cool, they kind of included all their enemies. I always kind of like that, you know, when they include stuff from previous games, like a callback, kind of. I mean, you know, where it doesn't feel like they're just retreading shit all over again. Thank you. Which I didn't feel really was sort of a retread. I, how it would have been a retread, though, is if the entire plot was geared about, oh, new bad guy found uh, Titan Serum. Oh no, everybody's trying to get their hands on it. It's up to Batman to save the day. And I'm really glad they didn't fucking do that, because, uh, oh my god, that'd be so fucking stupid. Arkham Knight did that a little bit with City. They did kind of, you know, sort of apply the whole Batman's sick and stuff and apply it to uh, Arkham Knight, but I mean, it wasn't as bad. I mean, ooh! I forgot about you, Daisy. Sorry, Batman. It's been a while. Don't forget to mention my little friend. Yes, she did. You forgot to mention she was so. Oh, tiny. Okay. Like a mobile garbage truck. Oh, it's a he, okay. Interesting. Mm. Well, first, actually, I have to save all the cops in here. What am I doing? Getting ahead of myself. Oh. Okay, okay. Get a solo down there. Over yep, here. I see you over there. Put him in one moment. Just have to pull out the raft. Gotta do some uh, failing across here. these ICCs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should be good, there we are. Up there. Awesome. You could say this is a great way of breaking the ice with your police officers. Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh ho! I know. He stole it from Mr. Freeze. Truly, I'm getting it. Back. People who make bad jokes like this do not deserve the right to breathe the same air. They must be breathing some type of other type of air. Some type of toxic air. Make such terrible jokes. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just go over here. It's not like I wanted a raft buddy or something. <laughs> Which actually is kind of weird. Um, is that back during like the golden age of Batman and Comic, bo comic books were very controversial. Like, they were considered the, uh, the modern-day 
video game, like their influence on children, how negative it is in the eyes of, well, other people. Um, like, the, and this does include Batman, uh, but it more or less applied to, like, comic books as a whole. Which, I guess, later eventually led to the, uh, creation of the comic book code, that you can do this, you can do that. Pr pretty much censorship, in a way. So, um, but Batman, because of his sidekick, Robin, their relationship was deemed as for? homosexual. Scared, which eventually, I suppose, oh, led to, or, I, I think, I'm not really sure how long it was after that comment was made, but, like, I, I forget what the dude's name was, too, presented that. Whatever, it was like a Batman and Robin, uh, sharing the same bed. And, uh, I don't know. It's a young war and an older man. I'm not saying that, you know, the relationship was intended to be that. I'm just saying, perhaps, you know, there were two beds in the same room. You know, I... It's weird, yeah, but it was a different time. I don't know. Perhaps it's just like an illustration issue or mistake. I, I really don't know, but I really never considered their relationship as homosexual. I always considered it more of, like, a fatherly type role thing, and that's how it always should kind of be. Not to say if they strayed away from it, I wouldn't mind, but if it made sense, if it fit in perfectly. Or not perfectly, but it was natural. You know, you can't just take a potato and call it a sock. You know, I'm getting off the point here. Um, Getting very far away from my point. Anyway, that eventually resulted in Rob being killed off. Whatever, and Batman just kind of being standalone. Or, er, not, no, wait, that Robin was killed off. What am I saying? No, no, no. He was eventually replaced with, like, a new Robin. Then that Robin was killed off, and... Because no one really liked that Robin, because he was kind of a... Bitch. I sure crew. That, they're, he, they're baking him alive in there. Well, look at the fingers. They're all... Black and frostbitten, ugh. Looks like a Voldemort with a nose. Oh my god! <laughs> well, instead of me just watching you sort of have a heat stroke, or, you know, watching the process take effects on you, I'm... I should probably go save you. <laughs> Bullshit! There was nobody behind the goddamn wall, you... fuckers! Alright, ready. Time to I shall slice get frisky. Pieces, it's time to chill the fuck out. Oh, 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 oh. I actually got in trouble as a child um, for writing chill out on my third grade teacher's whiteboard. Because we were supposed to, um, I forget exactly what the assignment was, but we were supposed to write uh, something. It was like, I think it was like compound words, like two syllable words and stuff like that. And me being this stupid child, I was like, oh, chill out, that's one word, has two syllables. Uh huh. So I wrote it on there. And my teacher. Oh, she flipped out on me. Um, like, she was a very high strung teacher. She was sort of like a, a tyrant to children. It was. It was a terrible class to be in. And she was just a terrible. This instructor in general. It was. Awful. She actually made me cry in front of half the town at every one time because I don't know why, but like we had these concerts and shit. Like as kids, they made us like sing and it was so embarrassing and stupid. But whatever. Yeah, she freaked out on me and stuff. She's like, Who wrote this on the whiteboard? Who did this? And she was just getting madder and madder and like, I was going to say something at first, like, oh, that was me, teacher. And then I just saw how mad she was getting, and I just sat there like, no, no, and no one said a thing. I guess nobody saw me. I mean, I sort of had that ability to just blend in with the background. Yeah. yeah it works pretty well sometimes, and other times not when you're trying to make friends. It's like, oh, who are they coming from? It's like, oh, okay, I guess I'm just the fucking it? scenery. Forget the clown. I want Cobblepot. He has my suit, my weapons. I'll end him for what he's done to me. The penguin's mine. <sighs> you need to stay focused on that cure, or innocent people will die. You don't understand. I cannot complete my work without it. I must have it. Everything depends on it. Everything. 
Penguin is protecting himself with your ice gun. How do I get past it? Do I look like a fool? Why would I tell you that? Because if I can't get past it, I won't help you get your suit. Think about it, Victor. You don't look well. If you're gone, what will happen to Nora? Leave my wife out of this, Batman. Don't let this situation fool you. We are not friends. No! Ooh. Today is not Ooh. a good day to push me, Victor. Stop! There's a, a security override chip I built into the suit to stop anyone using my weapons against me. How did that work out for you? Why don't you go get the security override and figure out a way to stop him yourself? It's been a pleasure, Victor. Keep thinking about that cure. I'll get you your suit back. I do really like the design of Mr. Freezer. He looks very, you know... It's just... He looks very cool. All those blue lights and stuff and... You know, it, it seems like a more practical design, you know, for somebody who'll be wearing a Freeze suit. Something I don't understand though is like why they didn't... Or why Mr. Freeze didn't have it so like the... the his Freeze gun couldn't be operated unless somebody was actually in the suit. Somebody of like the same mass, size, and like of the same... I don't know, body temperature? Because it does have a unique body temperature if you think about it. He's like fucking cold as piss. So, I mean, a, a creative way they could have gotten around that, or that the penguin could have gotten around that, would be is if he, like, um, put him, like, a dead corpse or something in there. And it's, like, freeze it outside. Uh, I mean, it's kind of dark, but uh, I don't know. Back to the stories, however, I was discussing. Yes, I was so cry in front of half the town in which I used to live in as a little kid because my high-strung teacher. I mean, she wasn't really high-strung, she's more or less a bitch. So, yeah, but we were supposed to be doing this dance number thing, and I do them quotation marks, because you can't see them, but you can tell in my voice I did them. Yes. But, oh my god. Oh, enjoy the ice melting. Groovy. Um, I really, I was a, like I said, I'm a very stupid kid. I'm still a stupid person. Incredibly stupid. Oh my god. Fucking, I need help opening peanut butter sometimes. It's just like, how oh, the fuck the world? Yeah, whatever. Um, but I really didn't want to dance with the girl, and they had it be a girl and boy dance. And to me, it was like, alright, oh, girls are yucky, they have cooties and shit. I, I was one of those old shits. And I was like, oh, don't ladies like this? I don't do my homework sometimes. On purpose. Oh. Um. So I tried everything possible not to dance with her. I was being very... A, a, a major ass and stuff, trying not to. And... For some reason, they took it as a matter of racism, because the person who I was dancing with was of a different ethnicity than me. It was... Nothing like that. That had not even crossed my mind. Um, like, I... I... I, tr I am by no means a racist person. I'm not con consider myself a racist person. I am friends with... Tons of people of different than the threes. Yeah. <laughs> that justifies it, but... And it was just incredibly embarrassing, because they assumed I was doing it uh, as a... Headsets. Because I was trying to be racist when I didn't understand the concept of racism at the time. It's just... And they pull me aside and stuff. And they're like, oh, well, fucking... I, I don't remember what they said. I was like... You, you, you're gonna have to sit out this next dance or something? And it's like... I don't even know why I freaked out. He said, oh, okay. But, I don't know, I started crying and shit. And like, they actually tried shutting me up because... I was... Ooh, ooh. That was stupid of me, I got caught up in my story. My story. Eric's was crying so much. I was crying extremely loudly. That's... something. That I used to do as a kid, I was ex extremely huge crybaby. Well, I'm gonna die. Um... It was like a... It was like a, a, a beached whale, just crying out in pain. It's been impaled on a cactus, that's how bad it was. So everybody heard it.
was in the audience and stuff, which is pretty much everybody's parents and stuff were in my class, and oh my god. It was terrible. I mean, of course, yeah, my parents then took action, because, you know, they didn't know what the fuck was going on. Why is my son crying? You know, why are you, you know, doing this to him and all that shit? I, she didn't lose her job, surprisingly, even though my parents did have to meet with her, or they pretty much demanded a meeting with her and something happened. Uh, she actually kept her job for like another four years, so... Yeah. Oh, just a huge misunderstanding. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scar your kid for life. I'm sorry, I'm kind of getting off topic here, but... It's... Er, of the topic of Batman. By talking about my life. It's just... Hmm. Hmm, what really pissed me off is the fact that... She lies! The very last day of school, and she tells me, Oh Ben, I just pulled you aside the day of the concert, which happened, like, in January or whatever, and she tells me, eh, you, you just bent down to tie a shoe, and, you know, I just want to make sure that you, you tied your shoe. Which is such... horseshit. Because she fucking said something entirely different to the principal and my parents. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I didn't find this out until years later that it, that, it, that they actually thought it was an act of racism. I wasn't told until I was like 18, so... I was like, oh. Well, that makes me feel like shit. Actually, no it doesn't, because it's not my fault that they assumed... assumed something. Like the fucking idiots they were. Should just approach the situation logically. Oh! Ben, why don't you want to dance with this girl? Is there something- I could understand being punished for not wanting to dance with a girl. That's completely understa- Cause, you know, just- just do it. It's a fucking chick. But this- Oh my god. Mine's still gone. I probably should have planned this out a bit better instead of just rambling on and on with my story. I started the, or, well, dealt with the person wearing the night vision goggles first and stuff. Really, you're gonna take a hostage? The only way to save him is to make sure his captors don't see me. You be like that, then. There's someone here. Yeah, I think if I do take him down, he's not gonna do anything. He's just gonna, you know, sit there like a fucking, you know, person. Like a person, yes. Yes. Okay. Could I? Just want to be safe about this and... There we go, alright. Seriously, in a hostage situation, if one of your buddies gets taken down or something, wouldn't you, I don't know, go through with your plan of action? I mean, yeah, it's horrible, but... Just saying. Oh my dear. Hello, boys. I saw you clear the room. It's awesome work, man. The name's Tom. Tom Miller. You're part of Gordon's strike team. I've seen your file. You have? I mean, yes, sir. Cobblepots turned this place into a fortress. Someone ratted us out. Me and the boys got grabbed, brought here, and beaten the crap out of. You're safe now. There are just two more of you unaccounted for. If you tried the Iceberg Lounge, Cobblepot would like to take us in there to beat us up some more. If we're lucky, that's where they are. So that's the famous... And it just cuts to this immediately. All right. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of fortunate. I don't have to really waste time. You know, get a few extra seconds for all you speedrunners out there. Whatever I damn please, Officer Miller. Minutes. Then get this over to Freeze. He won't be dangerous. No problem, Batman. This would be kind of cool, though, to have in a museum. It's like a museum of supervillains and stuff. That's kind of a common 
thing though in a lot of superhero stuff like I think Flashpoint Paradox there's one uh I know that Batman has one inside of his Batcave not really sure I'm I think uh, uh Superman could possibly yeah I think Superman all like the really popular you know uh publicity 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 like the you know, newsworthy, news popular ones, like the ones who actually talk to reporters and shit, have museums and stuff. Whereas people who usually avoid it, the type of supers usually avoid, like Batman, they don't really get shit. Except like maybe like a statue or like a plaque or something, so. Yes. Alright you folks, so it seems as though we've reached our time limit for today's episode, so we'll see you all next time as we go after that goddamn hobbit! Penguin. So farewell, a video saying, have you say goodbye. Peace. I'm Batman. Ooh. Feel fearful. Oh.